Hey guys, Anthony here. It's um, Friday, April 22nd, 2016. I'm going to do a couple videos today on shutting the camper down and, you know, towing it out of this spot here at the campground. First thing I'm going to do is show the black tank empty procedure. And there I, you see I have a clear elbow uh, on there on the black tank. And then I have um, 20 feet of sewer line actually two 10 foot pieces and then in the uh, sewer I have the fitting that goes right into the sewer has three different sizes on it so that's all uh, set up right now and I'm getting ready to uh, pull the black tank but first I'm gonna go put some more water into the uh, black tank so what I'm gonna do with this Y here that I installed Put some water into a bucket. That way I can get some water to my black tank, get some more water in it before I empty it. Okay, I'm going to pull the black tank. That's draining. As you can see, we did not do uh, number two in the black tank, just number ones, and I added water. So just some paper coming out and the deodorizer that I put in, which was blue. You could hear that going into the uh, sewer drain. Then what we're going to do is hook up a fresh water hose and do the black tank flush. I just want to see how that works once this is finished draining out. I have my hose hooked up on the uh, water outlet for the black tank flush. We'll just go around to the uh, front of the trailer or the other side of the trailer. And I have that hooked up to the black tank flush. So I'm going to turn that on, let the black tank fill up a little bit, and then dump it again. I'll shut the valve on the black tank for a minute or so. And let this fill up. Shut that valve. <laughs> okay, and I think you could hear that. There is water going into the black tank. So the black tank is being rinsed right now. What I'll do is I'll pull the valve to show you. There it is. You can see there's still more debris coming through. I'm gonna let that fill up a little bit more. And by going inside and checking the level of the black tank, I'll know how full it is. Okay, I'm checking the black tank level, which is right here. And that tank should be filling up, so I should be getting a, that, that line should be going up soon. Gray tank. We use a little bit. Fresh water tank. We didn't use it all, and that's a battery level. So monitor the black tank while you're filling up. Make sure you don't run off and do something else and overflow that tank. So right now it's still showing empty. We should start seeing that go up next time we check it. Okay, you can see the black tank is now one-third full. So I'll let it go to about two-thirds, and then I'll stop the water and pull the plunger again. Make sure that tank is rinsed out really good. Again, we didn't use it too much, so. But I just want to make sure that this sensor works and the tank is filling up and it's reading. Okay, I'll let another minute or so go by. Since we didn't use the bathroom too much, I'm gonna go shut the water and then pull that. That's coming up to two-thirds full. Okay, 
Okay, I turned the hose on a second time to fill that tank up a little bit more and just uh, clean out any remaining debris uh, that's in there. Well, again, I'll let that run for several minutes, fill the tank up a little bit, and then flush it out again. Okay, here's the second black tank fill up, and again, it shows we're a third full. I'll let that go a little bit more, and then I'll empty again for the second time, for the second rinse out. I'm also filling up the sink with some fresh water to get some water into the gray tank. I just want to flush that out a little bit too. Okay, I'm going to shut the water off for the black tank flush for the second time. Shut that off. And then I'm going to pull the black tank handle again and let this drain a second time. So hopefully this will clear out the black tank. Also clean out my hose, my sewer line. And then we're gonna switch over and dump the gray tank. We hardly use the gray tank, just a little bit to run some water. I did not shower, so just basically washed our hands and stuff. Still some debris coming out of the black tank. Some little pieces of toilet paper still see them coming through so this is definitely a good thing to do with your black tank these clean outs okay guys I got the same hookup on the gray tank it's more towards the back of the trailer here and this 20 foot length of uh, hose was just enough to reach over to the dump station so might have to carry another 10 foot section just to be sure, but let's pull the uh, gray tank. There, that's coming out. Definitely looks like some items from when they built the, mach the uh, camper that were inside that gray tank. To me, anyway. I don't know if that's something common or not. I think it didn't have much water in there to begin with. Then what I did was, uh, I'll show you on the other side, I mix up a little bit of water in a pressure sprayer here with about an ounce or two of bleach and I'll spray down some of my um, sewage connectors and gloves and stuff like that. This just um, disinfect some stuff, sanitize them. Hey guys, here's a tip for your hoses. I, I buy these Night Eyes like little wire things. This is one here. They come in different sizes. And you can wrap them around your hose a few times. It's easy. Holds the hose together. They're wire framed with a rubber outer, outer part. And they work very well. They're made by Night Eyes and you can get them in Bass Pro Shop and uh, Dick's and stores like that. Or you can get them online.